And ladies and gentlemen, our topic today is how to appropriately handle emergency maintenance at your rental property, whether in Austin or other cities. My name is Matt Lesper with 1836 Property Management. Let's jump into it. First thing you need to do is respond immediately to your tenant's inquiry. You need to assess the situation to figure out what you should do or what you shouldn't. I cannot tell you the number of times we received calls at 2 a.m. because the oven wouldn't get to 400, but only 350 and it was Christmas morning. While that's pretty dangerous if you've got a family coming over, that is not an emergency. But you do need someone that can troubleshoot and acknowledge when there is a true emergency, especially fire, flood, blood, and things of that nature. We have a 24-7 call center that does that as well as call recording. They can troubleshoot, they can help people fix these problems on their own if they are fixable, or direct them to other service providers, including outside our company. Second thing you need to do is have an expert vendor on speed dial. Don't shop around. There's times when you should ask for the best price. If you're doing a fence renovation and you need to put 120 feet of fence down, sure, ask for a bid or so. Find out on Google what it should cost for that area. But when it's four in the morning and your house is flooded, you need to get some work done. So if you don't have vendors on speed dial that know who you are, you're already behind the eight ball. Make sure that if you work with the property management team that they have approved vendors that they can call to solve your problems so that you're not up at 4 a.m. troubleshooting. Number three, keep your tenants informed of the status. Everybody really just wants information. Even if it's bad news, it's better than no news because we know how to react. So don't go into this, take the tenant's request and then not acknowledge it because you're working the problem. You need to keep them abreast of the situation, whether it's an AM, PM uh, update or whether it's at least once a day. Keep them in the loop and it'll keep them at ease. Number four, ensure you have reserve funds to pay for things when they happen. We had a major snowstorm, ice storm in Austin, Texas recently, and we had to go to a lot of our owners and simply say, you're gonna be paying your insurance deductible because there was no way around it. When the house is flooded, literally water staining it, that water has to be removed, the house has to be dried, we have to fix the broken pipes, and we have to build back the house. So whether or not you're gonna spend the money is not really a discussion. Just be ready, whether it's an insurance deductible or larger repairs such as AC in the summertime, you've gotta be ready to fix those when they go down because you have a responsibility as a landlord to those tenants to deliver a great house. Give us a call at 1836 Property Management in beautiful Austin, Texas, if we can do anything for you. We're here to help you succeed at real estate investing.